this tutorial I will explain the use of effects within SynthMaker. I have a guitar loop I recorded earlier and imported it into FL Studio. Let's listen to that without effects. Now let's start FL SynthMaker effects plugin and apply some effects to the guitar loop. We start with the audio in and an audio out component. Let's load the reverb and connect it to the audio in and out components. You'll find the reverb in the effects group in the side menu. As you can hear the guitar loop got a nice reverb added to it. I'll add a chorus and place it in the audio path. As you can see I am chaining the chorus to the reverb to the audio out component. There are several ways to do it. If you would like to reverb the dry signal instead of the chorus signal, you can hook them up independently to the audio out component. Now I'll add a delay to the schematic and hook that up as I did with the chorus and the reverb. are applied with reverb and chorus, giving the guitar a delay and chorus without being drowned in reverb. Now I'll make it a bit easier editing by putting everything in a panel. I'll select everything and make a module out of it, then enabling the graphics by pressing the G.
Now I'll add some graphical user interface elements, like a background and some group adornments. Just looks a bit neater, I think. I am renaming the group adornments. By clicking on the properties button, I can rename them. 